Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to the channel where we take awesome out of the box. My name is Jamie and in this video, we're gonna be talking about Samsung's newest member to their J series of smartphones. I'm talking about this guy right here, the Samsung Galaxy J8, a mid-range phone that's set to be launched in the Philippines in a couple of days. So join us as we take a quick look at this phone in this hands-on and quick review. As always, before we begin, just a quick reminder to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our next videos, plus follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Speaking of Instagram, a couple of days ago, I posted something on our feed and asked you guys to guess what phone you thought it was in the photo, and a lot of you actually thought that the J8 was the A6 Plus, and I really can't blame you guys since both phones have a lot of similarities inside and out but there are a few key differences. Let's start on the outside. While the A6 Plus has a metal unibody design, the J8 is primarily made out of polycarbonate plastic with a metal frame. Now that doesn't mean that you should knock on the build quality of this mid-range phone. It actually looks to be built very well and feels really solid in the hand with great ergonomics to boot. But as far as port and button layout goes, they're pretty much the same on both phones. You have the power button on the right side with that side firing speaker just above it. On the left side, you have the volume rocker plus the two SIM trays. On the bottom is a micro USB port and the headphone jack. The front, of course, is dominated by Samsung's Super AMOLED display that measures in at six inches. It's a panel that we're very familiar with here at Unbox.ph and it's actually one of the very best in the business. It gives you really deep blacks that serves as a canvas for colors to pop, which means consuming content on this phone is just incredible. Now, resolution gets a bit of a bump down. It's only HD plus at an aspect ratio of 18.5 by nine, which means if you're accustomed to displays with a higher pixel density, you'll definitely notice a difference in sharpness, but otherwise it's an excellent screen. Above the screen, you have a 16 megapixel front camera at an aperture of f1.9, and it also has its own LED flash. Now you have features like selfie focus to get that bokeh effect, wide selfies so you can fit more of your friends into the frame, and those really cute AR stickers that we first saw on the Samsung Galaxy S9. There's a dual camera setup on the back of the J8, which consists of a 16 megapixel main shooter that's coupled with a five megapixel depth sensor. The main cam has an aperture of f1.7 that should help with low light photography. And that secondary camera gives you access to Samsung's live focus to give you that bokeh effect to help you highlight your subject. Under the hood of the Samsung Galaxy J8 is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 450 processor, which is the same SoC as the A6 Plus. This is paired with 3GB of RAM and 32GB of storage, which is expandable up to 256GB via a micro SD card. Now, it'll offer about the same performance as the A6 Plus, which means you should have enough zip for the day-to-day, -day, plus a bit of light gaming on the side. Juicing it up is a 3,500 milliamp hour battery that should last about a day and a half with moderate use, but again, mileage will vary upon your usage. In terms of pricing and availability, we'll have to update you guys once we know more, since the folks over at Samsung Philippines are playing a little coy. But given how their phones are currently priced in the market, we can easily see the Samsung Galaxy J8 costing about 15,000 pesos, or maybe a bit more. We advise you to take that last statement with a grain of salt though. And that's pretty much it for this quick look at the Samsung Galaxy J8. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and of course, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next one. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below, and we'll try to get to them as soon as we can. For all the latest tech news and gadget reviews, head to unbox.ph, and of course, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. My name is Jamie, peace, God bless, and see you next time.